Welcome back to the Lego Man Cave. It's been about a week since I've done a last post, but we've had a few bits going on. Sick kids, work, all the usual, plus trying to figure out what's the next stage to do. But I think this area is going to be the focus of this video. So this area down here is looking very empty. I need to figure out how and what I'm going to do for a layout round here. I think I might move the coffee shop over to here next to the Asda and the um, church or chapel or what have you. That way I can have that bit open to do something with it there. Still, I think I'm going to leave the skate park there. I need to get some more straight road plates. Uh, I need to build something there. The jewellery shop, if you haven't seen my short, has now got interior. So that is looking absolutely beautiful. Um, I've still got to do the interior for the hospital, that hotel and that hotel. But other than that, everything else now has interior. Oh, I haven't done that one yet, but again, I've got to modulise that yet anyway. So there's no rush for that. But yeah, everything else has got interior. We are getting there slowly, but surely. I have still got this set up here, which I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. It is a cool little beach house, but can't really put it on there. Unless I put it against the back and instead of being like a beach, it could be, I don't know, like a private resort or something. I don't know. I'm not messing with that bit yet because I'm happy with how that is for now anyway. It's like a little runoff. It's not necessarily the sea, otherwise it wouldn't have a wall on both sides. It's like a runoff to the sea, which is over there and non-existent. Also got all the planes and everything. I've got the Avengers um ghostbusters got batman more stuff over here like thor's uh corner house from uh is it ragnarok i don't know i can't remember which one it's been a while plus we've got all the villain stuff up there you know there is absolutely loads of stuff in here that can be incorporated into the city but it's just trying to figure out what the next stages are so again i've paved all down to the city looks a hell of a lot better trees will be last i've got to make a load of like traffic lights and lampposts and things like that obviously main interior like main decor for the streets got these few gaps left to fill the park area to build decide what i'm doing here the school's done the beauty shop's done uh, I might end up doing a bit more to the fairground area, but as it stands at the moment, there's not a fat lot else I can do to it, other than adding people. The bus stop was done in the last video, so that's now placed down as well. Uh, yeah, everything is starting to take shape and starting to get ready for next level. The gap I had here, I've used some of my cut off pieces of base plate and then i've got these adhesive well if you look on the back you can see they are self adhesive uh, base plates which kind of covers up the wood i could build a tunnel or something there but i haven't got round to that bit yet that's a late late project when i decide what i'm going to do all right so as a start off i've done as i've said i'm going to move coffee shop next to the chapel I want to grass this area off, but unfortunately, I haven't got any more green plate left. I've managed to deplete that entire collection. Uh, what else have I done? I've got what used to be the Avengers compound. It's got no Avengers signs on it. So I've moved that over there and put the airport tower down from up here. Just to kind of fill that little bit of gap. If there is any air support, like... We've got the Quinjet, uh, haven't got them out at the moment, but there is helicopters and stuff as well. So if they come out, at least we've got some sort of air support, control tower, etc. I've tiled on top of all the fencing there and over here. 
just because I don't like the exposed stood on top of the fence. Emptied out a box and found all my construction crew. So these are all the cars that can get put away for now. I got the two cranes there, but I've also got that decent new crane that came with the coffee shop and the toy shop. I was thinking I could use that as like a little construction crew area. You know, they've got the T-junction there already, so they could just come out, go wherever they need to go. It's not exactly a very big space. And for the amount of vehicles I've got, it looks a little bit cramped. And I wanted to put like a border across each side to gate it off as well, which would just basically make it look a little bit narrower. So I don't know if that's going to be an idea or whether I put a massive structure there. So I'm just going to leave that like that for now. I've got all the other little pieces inside here. So the construction crew, uh, the construction cranes, probably a couple of the vehicles and the crew will have to go back in a box until I can find something to do with them. A little bit more done for now. Put the slushy truck there. I uh, put a little hot dog cart there. Giant Ant Man. I put a couple of vehicles down. So we've got like the hot dog. Uh, so we've got the burger van uh, facing the end of the path. Covers that little crossway there. Uh, we've got the bus at the bus stop. We've got ice cream. I've filled these gaps up for now with some more food trucks. Got a taxi outside the skate park. Colson and Lola in a little car park outside Avengers Tower. Fire trucks. Uh, I've depleted the construction uh, vehicles down a little bit just so it don't look so cramped. We've got the tour bus. We've got another taxi up outside the aquarium. I've even put a police car inside the police station, obviously. And I've sorted out a little bit of this, so that's all my vegetation. That's bits I can reuse. So we've got like the bins, we've got a portal, we've got some food tables, which can obviously go with the vans. I've still got all that I've got to sort out as well. And that. And I've got these out, so I can have a look at what I'm going to do building-wise to incorporate them. Also, in here, we've got the vehicles i'm going to use the vehicles i probably won't use so a little bit of organization next is just trying to figure out a plan so now that my boy is starting to wake up i've got to go and sort him out so while he's playing or watching telly or whatever it is he wants to do i'm going to be having a look at some park ideas and see if i can get some designs for the park area whether it be swings roundabouts slides anything like that that will basically make it pop and stand out and not look plain and boring as i say trees and vegetation will come much later because it's just a pain in the backside otherwise putting them in taking them out putting them in take and they keep bloody breaking so we're going to deal with that as it comes as i say for now I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to pick the camera up in a bit and see what we can get done. So we might have gone a little bit against what I said earlier. Quick glance. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to show you now how much I've got done in the last two, maybe three hours. It's now the evening. It's what? Ten to midnight. So I better hurry up and get ready for bed. But I'm going to give you a quick have a look round now and see what you think drop a comment down below and let me know any advice any thoughts drop it down below so we're going to start off at the top end as you can see i might have accidentally on purpose put some vegetation in already i've put some bins in i've got a lawnmower ready to strip that little bit of grass i've just got to get the people out next coming further down I've also put the uh, nether portal back in as well from Minecraft. So we've got more vegetation coming down here. Obviously, I've got a lot more trees to build. Put a couple of tables in and obviously the pizza advertisement board 
So that fills that gap until I've uh, built something. More around here, a little bit of vegetation, some more bins. I've fenced off that area. So obviously you can't walk onto the track. Doesn't quite benefit on the backside, but still. And then look at this beauty I've been working on. So we've got a slide. We got a roundabout pathway all done. We got some benches, we got trees. I love my little swing. That is cool. It took me ages trying to figure out how to make a swing, how to make a slide. The slide is not my favorite, but it does the job it's supposed to. We got the tree house, some more benches, and as I say, the vegetation just knocks it out. Then if you look closely, you'll see I've got a fountain in the middle and I've put some little shoots coming out. I found a person to put in the water to play with the fountains. But that looks pretty cool. More vegetation round here. Uh, and that's basically it for now. Uh, oh yeah, I've put a tree down there, a couple of bins. But yeah. I'm pretty chuffed with the progress. I have got parts coming so I can finally get the top of that done, fingers crossed. And then we'll have a second story to the Asda store as well. This is what's left of me trees. I got that and then my vegetation drawer. It's looking very sparse. So that is a project to work on. But for now, I'm pretty chuffed. I love it. So there is an update of the city. So like I said before, let me know what your thoughts are. Drop a comment down below. Like it and share this video. Help me spread the word. Get some more views up. Get them watched hours up. I'm working the best I can. I don't get paid for none of this. So it's all out of my own pocket, which is even harder especially when you got bills kids cars and everything else to pay for but still i do the best i can with what i've got so make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and as i say comment and share thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye